I did get one offer that I thought might give us some leverage. Mm. It's a TV job. Just television? Unfortunately, it's all wrong for you. They want you and Roz to host AM Seattle next week. That vapid morning chat show? Exactly what I told them. Fraser Crane is a doctor. He heals the masses. He doesn't pander to them. He's not going to do some silly morning coffee clutch, no matter how fabulously popular it is. No, that's quite right, Bibi. I mean, that sort of show is beneath me. Exactly. It's undignified. Horribly. Still. I'm listening. Well, is there a way to do it with a bit more dignity? Some, some polish and substance? Why didn't I think of that? You know, a dash of high society and a dollop of culture. I can't believe you're even considering this. The show is nothing more than a melange of bad jokes and mind-numbing banter. Yes, well, it doesn't have to be, Nas, don't you see? I mean, if I could choose the guests myself... You can. ...and control the content... You could. Well, then I'd accept. We did. I mean, we will. <laughs> In fact, why don't I call them right now with the exciting news? Oh, oh, oh. May I? On the balcony, if you don't mind. Mind? I don't want a single puff tearing up the baby blues of TV's newest sensation by this time next week. You heard him. If you're going to blow smoke, do it on the balcony. <laughs> Uh, ready to roll? Not quite. Your partner's not here. What? Ross? He's, he's not here? But we're on in uh, four minutes. No, at this point, a rerun is on in four minutes. Don't worry, Matt. She'll be here. We won't even have time to put her through makeup. A natural oh, beauty no. like Ross? Oh, please, darling. Pinch her cheeks. Stand back and watch her glow. <laughs> hey, Ross. Oh, for God's sake, you look awful. Are you sick? No, of course not. I wouldn't be sick for oh, our big honey. debut. I'm oh. totally fine. Ross, you're burning up. Well, it's kind of hot in here. Maybe it's all these lights. If I just get this jacket off. No, no, Ross, Ross, stop, stop! She's delirious. With anticipation, darling. Don't worry, I'll calm her down. Pull yourself together, do you hear me? We need the show. All right, everyone, we're doing a rerun. Let the audience go, cue the tapes. Wait, can't Fraser do the show without her? This is a chat show. Who's he gonna chat with? Me, I'll go on with him. You, pull yourself together, Ross. <laughs> I don't think so, Bibi. Why not? All he needs is someone to suck up to him, laugh at his jokes, pretend to listen to his stories. I'm his agent. For God's sakes, that's what I do. You know, I, I believe she could pull it off. The problem is she needs to be likable. Right. Do I at least get to keep the suit? Hold on. I can be likable. I can also be very unlikable. Maybe if you explain the difference to poor confused Bibi. For instance, what you were doing in the dressing room with the wardrobe girl an hour ago, would your wife find that likable or unlikable? <laughs> Put some makeup on this woman. Yeah. Okay, folks, 60 seconds. All right, baby, just follow my lead. I'll introduce us and then we'll get to our guest, all right? I, no. What's my first guest, Susan Sontag? Well, she had a conflict. Don't worry, we got a fabulous replacement. Oh, baby Leo, the world's biggest two-year-old. Frasier has left.